Welcome back. So in the last update, you saw Jeff drilling the pilot holes for the mounting bolts for the foreplane, and here he's got the new bit that he ordered, um, which is to drive through you know the larger size uh, hole that we need for the actual bolts, because last time it was just a pilot run he was doing. So uh, as you can see here, he's just about through there. There's the little pilot bit coming through, so it's five sixteenths, and then I believe the larger size there is uh, five eighths or something like that. So that's a job done, and just to get a look, that's what that bit looks like. So it has a little pilot uh, at the front there, and then a nice big cutting bit for the rest of it. And uh, meanwhile, here's Dan, and he's uh, actually just doing a layup on the back side of one of those upper door skins there. We've put some hard points in there that are going to allow us to, to bolt this upper skin on, and you'll see more of that shortly. And meanwhile, uh, I'm working on quickly creating some foam... Um, sort of um, temporary molds, real quick molds um, for kind of these uh, um, closeouts that are going to be on the spars. Uh, this one is for where the radius is, where the uh, wing sort of transitions from the wing to the winglet. And you'll see more on that in a little bit. And uh, there's the upper side of one of the doors there. Dan's actually sort of relieved the spots there where these hard points are. And there's that one of those um, molds there so what we're doing here this is just like an instant mold and has negative draft all through it so it's pretty much a throwaway we'll be laying up the part in there and then just breaking away the foam and those parts actually have to sort of go into those parts of the spar there and what they do is actually box that um, that radius out in order to make it a lot stronger than it would be just on its own and here Jeff and Devin have got the cool room all set up again and uh, they're going to be laying up the rear seat mounts and they have the same layup schedule as the front one so quite heavy um, but you know the cantilever thing is kind of neat because it allows uh, all kind of room for luggage and stuff and uh, here's Dan working on uh, trimming the upper skin of the door there for the other door because uh, that hadn't been done yet and this is another temporary mold so this is for boxing out the first part of the wing spar um, that's the part that bolts up to the actual main spar and so that needed to be boxed out as well and the best way to do it is just to quickly create it, this um, temporary mold again with negative draft so it's going to be a throwaway um, because you know once you laid up the part in there you can't get it out except for you know breaking away all the foam um, we're gonna have to try and figure out a solution to this for production but anyway this is how you, how you do it right now and there's the other side of the skin, or other door skin, so that Dan finished trimming that. And there's the hard points there, and they've just been five minutes into place and drilled through. So we're actually going to be putting fasteners in there to hold that door skin on. You'll see more of that shortly. And here's uh, Devin and Jeff just getting underway with laying up this uh, rear uh, seat mount. And I got to do the layup on this one, so just um, a layup, a thick layer of heavy over the top of those hard points. And uh, some peel ply on there just to tidy it up. And there's the rear seat mounts now, so they've been done and bagged and uh, just in the process of uh, curing up there. So that's another job done. So they'll be popped out and trimmed off uh, soon enough. And I guess soon enough is right now. So this is uh, guys uh, just starting to peel all that stuff out of there to get those out. Um, yeah, so we're going to have just the two seats in the back for this setup for the prototype, but you know, ultimately there's room for three seats in the back. Um, so here's Jeff just doing a rough trim on one of those mounts, uh, just on the bandsaw there, and later on we'll get a little bit more detailed trim. So it didn't take long to do those. It's kind of neat having the cantilever though, it really makes the cabin stay nice and sort of clean and organized instead of having everything bolting to the floor. And there's what the two of them look like. So that's been pretty much trimmed off there now. Ready to have the holes drilled in there for where the seats mount to. And then that can be bonded into the fuselage. And back onto the upper door skins. Dan uh, countersunk some holes there into where those hard points are. And those bolts that I have in there just to hold it in place. We won't be using those. and using the same flathead ones that I have on the windows. And then we'll be bonding over the top of those so they're hidden you don't see them. And uh, here's these temporary molds, and we put the metal um, sort of masking tape on there, and uh, 
Devin's been in the process of getting those organized and um, waxed up so this is what they look like now all waxed up and they'll be able to lay those two different channels in there which will mate into the spars and so once that's once those are done and the other one's done uh, we'll be able to start constructing the wings so this is the other ones there and if you look carefully here with this angle you can see the negative draft there it's sort of leaning in not so much on this side but on on this side there it's really leaning in the same on this one so uh, when you lay it up in there um, the part would generally get stuck we can probably slide it back towards the camera here but still generally it would get stuck and so Jeff's doing the same thing here putting the metal tape on there because um, the resin and stuff won't stick to that when you wax it up and another little side project Dan did he's got these um, the little um, forks there with the um, sort of bearings and that bolted onto the end of the side sticks so that allows the connection there to um, the elevator torque tube so uh, that's another project that's done and I know you guys have seen the throttle handles before but you haven't seen these new ones I got these 3d printed a little while ago out of metal they're actually steel um, a little bit heavy but those plastic ones just weren't going to cut it I was worried they were going to fall apart and these things are rock solid so um, Dan got those all bolted up there had to tap the holes in there thread them you know so we could put the screws and stuff in there so he's pretty much got those done and there's a little push button there for the takeoff go around button for the avionics um, so yeah they have a little bit of texture and stuff in there but they're kind of nice and that's uh, they're going to last so here's the two doors I've got these set up this is uh, Friday afternoon now and um, set up to actually bond the skins on so there's the little indentations there for those hard points are and the holes drilled through for where the fasteners are going to hold this in place and there's the countersink uh, holes there so as I said the fasteners are going to go through there and then after that we'll um, cover those over so you, they'll be hidden you'll never see them and this is uh, starting the process so I've got some uh, MGS resin there mixed up with some flocks just to fill in where those um, hard points sit and the next step, step was to uh, get this um, the glue that holds the window in so this is that same mixing tube and I didn't get to show all the process going on there because you know I'm like a one arm paper hanger busy when this stuff gets going but anyway here's the result and I've got the uh, both of the upper skins on there now with lots of clamps holding them in place and uh, nicely aligned uh, because I had a couple of those bolts going through there originally so uh, and everything looks like it's coming out good and I'll just have to do a little bit of sanding around the edges just to smooth things off where the high sole was sort of popping out a little bit extra than what I wanted so but anyway uh, now that that's done the next thing to do on that is to put the seals around the doors and get them back on and uh, start getting ready to close up the cabin so we can pressurize it but that'll be next week and uh, we have Labor Day this weekend so uh, the next update will be Wednesday instead of Tuesday so that's our update for this week and uh, thanks again for watching